Welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Radar. Special K. And tonight we're doing Benchmark, old number eight. This is the apple flavor. Uh, it's bottled by Buffalo Trace Distillery. It's 35% alcohol by volume or 70 proof. This bottle costs $9.89. It's a good price. Bottle. That's a very good price. It is a good price considering the closest competition it has would be Evan Apple, which is about 12, or Jim Apple, mm -hmm. which is about 15. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. There you go, big guy. This is definitely on the uh, on the cheap side of the flavored bourbon. We have reviewed this before, but it got exploded. It got destroyed because memory cards suck. Hard drives suck, but yes. Oh, was it the? Oh, yeah, that's right. You dropped the drive. Oh yeah, it is bourbon colored. So uh, yeah, it's like a coppery. As, as far uh, as I can tell, all benchmark bourbons have the exact same color. Yeah, it's because they dye them. Mm, probably. There's definitely food coloring in this. It's like a, uh, it's like a dark honey colored, or like it's more like a, uh, a dehydrated yeah. urine. Okay, really. uh, an amber type yeah. color. Yeah. Like I'm in, I've been in the desert. You get a little bit of apple. It's kind of the same thing. It's kind of spiced apple. Yeah, a little bit um, of spice in that as it's well. It's very prominent in the apple. Very obviously fake smelling in apple. Yeah. But uh, just a hint of bourbon, and that's mm -hmm. it. So shall we? We shall. Yummy. So, even though it's very prominent in the apple smell, the flavor's not quite as strong. It's still there. Mm -hmm. It does have a nice, almost molasses tone to it. Yeah. And then you get a little bit of the bourbon on the back end. It's it's sweet, but it's not as sweet as some of the other ones. You know what it reminds me of a little bit? is a baked apple. Yeah, I can see that. And it's It's got that nice caramelized, apple-y mm -hmm. flavor. It's... It's kind of a baked apple kind of thing for me. It's good mm -hmm. for an apple bourbon. There's like not a ton of bourbon flavor there, but it's there. Like I said, it's very molassesy, kind mm -hmm. of caramel in the back end there. Definitely. Oh man, it's good. I mean, for the price, you can't beat it. For for basically ten dollars. Yeah. That's not bad. Man, man. Glass. Glass bottle. Not That's right. And currently they have four flavors. Um, they have the peach, brown sugar, apple, and the regular. They have bourbon flavor bourbon. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so they are um, all ten dollars or under. So it is good. Uh, it is good straight. I think straight, even with the price being as low as it is, I think people look at this on the shelf and they go, "Oh, that can't be good. That's that's ten dollars. That's that's gonna be nasty." It's actually pretty good. I would give this. I think I would give this a seven and a half straight. This is maybe not a maybe not a shooter. You could shoot this if no, you this, wanted if this to. This is chill. It'd be an easy shooter. Oh yeah, you could shoot it if you wanted to. But I think it's honestly better as a sipper than a, than a shooter. Mm, Which is a say, weird thing to say about a flavored bourbon. I would drink bourbon. this with a splash of apple juice. A splash. Mm, uh, nice. A little bit of apple juice yeah, would not like be a bad idea. Just a splash. Maybe, maybe a frozen cube of of apple juice. That's right. You got to use the old noggin. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and rate this straight uh, seven and a half. I'm right there with you. Uh, it's good. Uh, can't beat the price. Um, what would I like? I would like more bourbon flavor in there. But I mean, it, it's what this is. It's it's ten dollars. Yeah. It's fine. It's it's a it's a cheap flavored liquor. Smells really good too. With uh, with Canada Dry ginger Canada lemon. Dry. That's that's not bad. Shall we? Something like pie now, actually. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. It tastes kind of like pie. It brings up almost almost cinnamon. I guess the ginger, the ginger is. Yeah, yeah. I think that's where the the spiciness is coming from. But the aftertaste, mm -hmm. kind of crusty. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I I didn't know if I was the only one getting that. It's probably the molassesy flavor that I was talking about earlier. That's scarily good. It is. <laughs> That's. Uh, if this, if just think if this was actually cold. Oh, oh yeah. Not room temperature. I mean, I, I like, I like most alcohol to be at room temperature. Speaking of which, somebody asked us the other day why do we don't use ice in our drinks, and the reason for that is because I don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> I never have ice. I I prefer alcohol to be stored and consumed at room temperature. Yeah, and honestly, uh, we don't. I just don't use ice in my house, so it just. I don't have it. So I don't have an ice maker. We don't use ice. I didn't use ice growing up. It's just, 
it's just what it is. It is weird. I mean, if and I want I'm something to be cold, if I want something to be cold, I can put it in the refrigerator. Right. Same here. Yeah. I have my water dispenser that dispenses cold water, so it's like. I mean, I put ice. I put ice in water, and that's about it. Yeah, I don't even do that. I don't put ice in Coke. I don't put ice in alcohol. I, yeah, I very often. I never, when I drank soda, I hated it. They'll, like ice is okay in tea, iced tea, mm. but I never liked it in like soda because it watered it down and made it flat. So. This is fantastic. It is. Aside from the strange ramble we just went on about ice, <laughs> this is fantastic. If you have the opportunity to buy Canada Dry ginger ale with lemon, go get it. We're going to talk about that in a minute, by the way. Yeah, that's, that's going to be in an upcoming video. You're welcome. Yeah. But these two things together, that's a nine. You think so? That that combination specifically, that's a nine. As a mixer, um, this is this is still a really good mixer. You can put it in uh, you can put it in Coke. You can put it in Sprite. Uh, Apple juice. I think I think it's a very uh, it's a very widely useful mixer. That's that's the wrong wording. That's terrible wording. I'm sorry, but it's a very good mixer. Uh, overall, I think it's about an eight as a mixer. But this right here, Small this combination. Right here. This is perfect. This is no unitasker. No, it is not. Uh, I'm gonna go with a, an 8.5 uh, as a mixer. It's spectacular. Like, mm. um, like again, it's the same thing I said before. I would like slightly more bourbon characteristics, but it's me personally. It may be different for other people out there. I'd be happy with some more bourbon in that. Yeah, I mean, it's it's delicious. You can't go wrong with. You can't go wrong with any of the benchmark flavors, uh, especially for the price. But we were gonna check for sure. We we're gonna put these head to head against. Some Jim Beam well, we apple. Have, we got the. Uh, I have apple. We are out of the crown apple, and unless somebody else okay. has that, we probably won't do that. Mm, I didn't bring any. <laughs> yeah. So, but all right. Uh, would you recommend? Yes. Hell yes. Mm hmm. All right. Well, that's been our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on the channel, you can leave a comment down there. Don't forget to hit that like button. I'm Special K. I'm Radar. Thanks for watching. Leave it on his dick. What?